There are a few themes from our DVD, Southern Trout Eaters, I wanted to explore deeper. I believe swim bait fishing at times exposes truth in fishing and in fish behavior. These truths hold true for not only the swim bait and trophy hunting side of the house, but also hold true when it comes to conventional bait fishing, tournament bait fishing, all fishing that we do. This first discussion isn't a fishing technique. It's not some fishing theory. It's more of a measurement system, a scale, a rating system. I'm calling it rate of stall. Let me explain. With the help of some basic 3D diagrams, I'm going to try and explain rate of stall. To first explain rate of stall, let me start by talking about rate of fall. This is the common understood format for measuring how quickly a bait goes from the surface down to the bottom. But what about this distance? This is what I'm calling rate of stall. Rate of stall is a measurement of fishability of certain baits as they head back toward the boat in your retrieve. Some baits just fish better and are stallable. You can stall a popper next to a piece of wood. A buzz bait, it keeps coming right back at you. Rate of stall is mostly a moving bait thing, not entirely, but why rate of stall is important comes down to lure selection and what retrieve. I believe in the triple trout, but when even the triple trout wasn't producing for me in the heat of the southern summer, I reached for the Nazuma rat. The rat has a lot going for it, terrestrial factor, big bait factor, but it's very stallable. I can throw it up to a piece of wood, let it sit there. I can walk it, then pause it. Very slow moving bait as it moves back toward the boat. Same cast, replay. It takes me almost 10 seconds. Notice my retrieve, 10 seconds and I'm not even halfway out of that tree. I'm just trying to keep it around the thickest, sweetest spot on that tree. I move over to the next piece of wood. You know, I kind of move the bait out and I just reel it in. I mean, that fish is going to eat, is going to be near the wood. But it takes me almost a minute to fish both of these lay down trees. Now, the normal triple trout, even if I'm putting as much stall into the bait as I can, I would be 25 yards down the bank. It just fishes that much quicker. This fish almost made the film. We were getting into them all of a sudden and I had a good feeling. Fortunately, didn't commit to the bait. Rate of stall in action. Here's Ryan Tony validating rate of stall factor, big bait factor, and by hanging it in the tree and popping it free, the terrestrial factor. Yeah. Oh, you got him. You got her. You need help with the net? Yeah. You... I just slam in. Yeah, yeah, bouncer. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Right on. A little rat fish. That's my first. Wait, 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 wait. Let's zoom in on the. Don't be. Don't be freaking getting all. Buddy, buddy, with old Pinky, she's taken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. The Ozarks further cemented rate of stall. Throwing a big wood bait as close to the bluff walls as you can and keeping it there, then slowly swimming it out. 
No wonder I couldn't catch up to him. <laughs> Prop baits, super stallable. You can throw one of them up in a little three-foot pool surrounded by hydrilla, reeds, a bunch of muck, and you still get a lot of casts out of that bait in the shortest little runway possible. When I started fishing heavy grass a lot, this is Okeechobee. Things were coming together. I was starting to understand why some of these topwater baits were so effective there. I tried to apply that to my swim bait fishing. That's why I picked up the slammer, slammer. on Okeechobee. Crazy. First time I've ever done that. I dumped it like an idiot. I think folks understand the rate of fall system via gravity, north and south, right? But east and west is what rate of stall provides. It's that other dimension that gives us the ability to track where a bait is in the water column. It gives us that other medium to say, hey, look. We need to look at how this bait travels from north and south, but also from east to west. Fish them. I can throw in a blowdown that uh, normally I might would have to burn uh, a sinking bait over to try to get through the limbs, but the slammer I can slow roll it through there, let it float up, come over the limbs, and, and go right back down in my retrieve. And I think. I've already reached out to two individuals and shared rate of stall with them. Rob McComas, MS Slammer Specialist, fished with Rob in the mountains for the last five years, wanted his input, wanted him to join the discussion. I also heard a piece on Tactical Bassin, Matt Allen's website, regarding the Lunker Punker and how he was talking about fishing it over points and the amount of action he got in the bait and how slow it came back toward the boat. I knew he knew exactly what I was talking about. Here's how I envision this working. This is just a model here, right? So you have embedded YouTube clips, a little bit of text in between them to kind of keep the conversation and the topics flowing and a chronology. And just have an online video discussion. Rate of stall is a baseline to have discussions about baits from. For example, the rate of fall 5 Huddleston has a much slower rate of stall than the rate of fall 16. Or a burner style spinner bait compared to a big thump and willow leaf spinner bait. Or when you talk about line through swim baits and neutral buoyancy, braided line swim bait fishing, or how boot tails affect rate of stall. An east west measuring system allows you to talk about hard baits, and bait control. This is the 22nd century bluegill bait. This is the F-16 model, a nearly floating, neutrally buoyant wake bait. Fishes very well. It stalls very well in the grass, but it's still a hanging trouble swim bait. Rate of stall, ultimately, is about lure selection and what retrieve to fish that lure with at certain times. I'm looking forward to what Matt Allen and Rob McComas have to say about it. I'm looking forward to what you might have to say about rate of stall. We're going to test the waters having an online discussion with video responses. Hopefully this all goes well, something we can duplicate going forward with future discussions.